People hearing without listening are the immortal words from the song Sounds of Silence. People hearing without listening. What does this mean? At the conclusion of the central thematic development of the Musaf Prayer on Rosh Hashanah, we read a powerful line, Ki ata shomea kol shofar u'ma'azin shua, meaning, for you hear the voice of the shofar and you listen to its sounding. Rav Yosef Tomim, the 18th century author of the Prim Gadim, highlights an apparent redundancy. What is the difference between kol shofar, the voice of the shofar, and shua, its sounding? And what is the difference between Shmiah, hearing, and Ha'azana, listening? My Rosh Hashiva, Rav Aaron Lichtenstein, explained that hearing refers to the passive, background noise that passes one by, whereas listening is an active exercise requiring concentration on the content and an appreciation of the context of the symphony that is life. It is for this reason that in the prayer, when it refers to hearing, it's talking about the tkia, the simple sound, whereas listening refers to the trua, the triad of blasts that incorporates moments of silence between the sound. Joshua Bell, one of the 21st century's consummate classical musicians, was asked to bask in a thoroughfare outside a metro station with his finest violin crafted by Antonio Stradivari as a social experiment. At 7.51 a.m. on the 12th of January 2007, Bell opened his violin case, threw a few dollars in, and began to play. Bell performed six masterpieces that he usually fills concert halls with and gave it everything he had. For 43 minutes, 1,097 people walked by the virtuoso. Only seven stopped to hear the music for more than a minute, and 27 tossed in some money while hurrying on. The rest rushed by on their busy way to their next engagement. This was recorded in the Washington Post in an article that brought in over a thousand comments from around the globe. More than 10% of the readers wrote that the article made them cry. Cry for the sedated souls that couldn't stop to appreciate the beauty that surrounded them. Cry for the lost moments, the opportunity to slip through our hands, never to return. Cry for the rush of life that goes by so fast that we don't stop to listen to the music. The primordial cry of the shofar can pierce the mire of mediocrity where we sometimes find ourselves. Rosh Hashanah, the head of the Jewish New Year, encourages us to incorporate Shmiya and Ha'azana, to hear and to listen to sound and silence of the friends, of family and those around us, in order to better ourselves and the world at large. This year, don't just hear the shofar, listen to its calling. Wishing you, your family, your community and all of humanity a sweet and successful new year. Shana tova umetuka. Ay, ay, ay,